In most markets, the quoted price is the clean price of the bond. And that clean price does not take into account any coupon interest that is accrued in the bond since the last coupon payment date. This accrued interest, that is interest that has been earned but not yet paid, rightly belongs to the seller of the bond and not to the buyer, since the buyer has not been holding the bond for the part of the coupon period that has already passed. The full settlement amount that the buyer should pay to the seller, therefore, must compensate the seller for this accrued interest. We call the full settlement price, including the accrued interest, the dirty price. So the dirty price of a bond is its clean price plus the accrued interest. Take as an example the U.S. Treasury 1.5% coupon note maturing on February 15, 2030. We can see that the bond was trading for settlement on the 24th of February 2020 at a clean price of 108 and one half 30 seconds. This was the offer price because we were looking at buying the bond. For settlement on the 24th of February, there were nine days of accrued interest in the bond. Because the bond matures on the 15th of February 2030, and pays coupons on semi-annual anniversaries of that date, therefore on the 15th of February and on the 15th of August each year. The bond is trading for settlement on the 24th of February, and that's nine days since the coupon was last paid on the 15th of February. So there are nine days of accrued interest in the bond. That nine days of accrued interest at an annual coupon rate of 1.5% turns out to be 0 0.0370879912 per 100 nominal. Later in the module, we'll explain how this accrued interest is calculated.